Okay, all healed up. The dangers of the hunt require quality gear. Take care in the I wild. need to meet Varl and Zoe in Plainsong. Ask the chorus if we can go into their sacred cave. Minerva should be inside. If I can get it, I can reboot Gaia. And then maybe we can figure out who those strangers in the Proving Lab were. But first, I might want to explore a little. See what I can find in this area. The blight is worse here. If I don't get Gaia up and running, it'll be like this everywhere. There's Varl and Zoe. I'm here, as promised. That's singing. Does it mean the chorus is ready? It is assembled. I couldn't have done it without Varl. But I don't know what good it will do. The chorus is in disharmony. The subject of the cave is bad enough. Land God Fa still hasn't emerged, and every day more deadly machines try to force their way out, throwing themselves against the defensive cordon we set up around the entrance. That is only the first of many false notes. Your request has exposed deep divisions within the chorus itself and the tribe. So you put fortifications around the cave? Just some wooden barricades. We don't have the stone craft of the Karja or Osiram. It is our archers of the Cordon that truly hold the machines back. They withstand new attacks every day. I hope they can hold out. What machines are coming out of the cave? Scavengers and hunter killers. But they're tougher than any we fought before. More vicious. Glow. Sounds familiar. You've fought machines like these? If they are what I think they are, then yeah. There may be a whole other problem in that cave. All the more reason for me to get inside and figure it out. I get that the cave is sacred, but how did asking to go inside cause such a fuss? The, the fuss was already there. Many in the tribe and most in the chorus want to keep doing what we have for generations, which often is nothing. But there are others who call for change, or extreme measures. Your request has given fresh life to the debate. Right. Tradition. I've run into that before. But each tribe has to be dealt with in their own way. So, the chorus is assembled. What now? They're considering your request. Then... Shouldn't we go talk to them? When you're ready. But don't worry. Their debate won't end anytime soon. Meetings like these can go on for days. <sighs> All right. Then maybe I should resupply first. Who knows how many machines are in that cave? Assuming the chorus agree to allow you inside. Aloy can be pretty convincing in these situations. We'll see. Do what you need to prepare. We'll wait for you above where the chorus has gathered. Nervous? Bringing an outlander before the chorus. I missed you, I'm so proud. I hope this works. It'll be worth it, Zoe, you'll see. <laughs> so the singing just keeps going. I guess that means the chorus is still in session? The people sing to soothe the chorus, to help them break their impasse. It wouldn't be necessary if they were in harmony. I'm not going to have to sing back, am I? Of course not. The singing will stop when we present ourselves. Are you ready? All right, let's go talk to them.
Speak. Your sacred cave. There's something inside I need. And if I can get it, it so will and the Nora have spread word of your story. And what you want. We know of no spirit in the cave. Only Fa, our land god, who entered the cave and did not return. The power of the land gods is broken. We are diminished. Tales of spirits will not help us. Nothing will. We weaken. We die. And become fertile ground for new life. This is the natural order. Yes. Wait. You're all just going to sit around? Until you become food for worms? Literally? So says the Outlander, ignorant of our beliefs. Please. Remember how she brought peace to Ray. Listen to her. We've heard such temerity from you before, Zoe. Let us not forget that you agitated for reckless war against the Kaja. At least she's trying to help. How? By inviting you to break our traditions? Should we change our ways to suit every impudent outsider who wanders into plain song? No. You should change your ways because your own lands are killing you. We have stood by and watched as our land gods waste away. You would have us do the same with our neighbors, our children. And this lone outlander can save us. <laughs> Nonsense. A single seed matters little in the infinite cycle of growth and decay. An alarm. It's coming from the mountains. What's that? Was that from the cordon? It's an alarm! The machines must have broken through the cordon. Then we need to get down there. What about the chorus? If the cordon has fallen, there is nothing left to prevent us from going in the cave. The time for permission is over. Then off we go. The cordon. Oh, what's left of it? So many dead. They will be more when the time is right. For now, we must keep going. Into the cave. What is that? A kind of wall. Made of light. Understand what's going on in there. You're gonna need one of these. On the temple. Just like this. There's blue light on the door. Yeah, it takes some getting used to. Don't worry, Zoe. I hope. Now listen. The machines we've been fighting, they're different. More dangerous. That means there's something very powerful somewhere beyond that door. And it wants us dead. Follow my lead. And be ready for anything.
machines. Not like any you've seen before. are glowing. I've seen them before. They're like an infection. That thing I sent, and once it's dead, it takes over places like these and makes killing machines. It's called Hephaestus. You can let now tell these rotted to the roots. Who is Hephaestus? What does it want with this place? It's taken over facilities before to build deadly machines. But it wasn't always hostile. They used to be part of something good. Something called Gaia. Dome of Light. They're protecting the machine. Yeah. There should be a node I can override nearby to shut it down. Still her god. I do not grieve for a god or a machine, but because I no longer know what to believe. Look, so if you want, you can go back home. Do I still have one? And if so, for how long? Can you really heal our lands? Save my people? Oh! 
Up we go. But there's more. Like Aloy said, this is only the beginning. Looks like the Festus has been upgrading the security grid on the cultures. And the gate has been corrupted. Not sure I can do much about that right now. And my focus doesn't recognize some of these. Must be machines I haven't seen yet. Got what you need? Yes. Let's press on then. Greetings, graduates of Cradle 9. Welcome to the regional. Error. Unauthorized access detected. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Was that the spirit? Minerva? I, I don't think so. At least, not directly. What exactly was this place? Seen anything like it before? No. Error. Unauthorized access. Initiating facility lockdown. Stay out. What's going on? Well, at least the emergency lights work. What just happened? Minerva's definitely here. And I think it's trying to keep us out. I'll scout ahead, see if there's a way to get us in. You sure we shouldn't come with you? Well, yeah, Minerva could be dangerous. Let me make sure it's safe. Okay. We'll be right here if you need us. Okay, I need to find where Minerva's hiding. I should look for a way to access the facility systems. Alert! Restricted access! You are not wanted here. Nope, sorry. You're not getting rid of me that easily, Minerva. Minerva's shutting me out. Minerva, I need the console. Please. Access denied. It didn't used to be like this. Do you remember it? Anything? You were part of something bigger once. Something good. She can live again. But only if you give her the chance. I can't reboot her without you. Eli, cease. I think you'll disappear into her. Become part of her, like you used to be. Let's cease. Thank you. Thank you, Minerva. <laughs> Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. Initiate heuristic matrix. Here it goes. Greetings. 
this Dr. Sobek? Uh, I'm not. Scanning data. So it is Aloy, not Elizabeth. We have much to discuss, but initialization of my heuristic matrix will not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations, and you can make use of its equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Shall I grant access to your companions? They will be here shortly. Um... Okay, but... Don't overwhelm them, okay? They don't have a lot of experience with things like... Well... You. Uh, so no fake this time? No. This time she's real. Borrell, so... This is Gaia. Hello. Hi. Hi. Gaia's still, uh, waking up. Let's look around. I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus. Established a network between your focuses, allowing you to communicate when apart. Good. So what was this place? A regional control center, where Zero Dawn progeny would have overseen terraforming operations in the area. So this was supposed to be... the lab. That was its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. I'll take a look. Huh. Looks like I need data from machine parts to fix the corrupted override. My initialization is complete. You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. When you are ready, return to the control room. We have much to discuss. Hello, Aloy. Uh... Hi. So you're... ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. We're not gonna be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully. The sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. Of Apollo, Artemis, and Eleuthia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. And Hephaestus? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. <laughs> That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, 
Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the Master Override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited, so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of... strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors and a, um... a, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes. This was recorded by your focus. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. The calculations are complicated, but it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. A distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. Okay, so... What's so far away, and, and why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship... The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless... Uh, I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Far Zenith? Yes. That is my conclusion. <laughs> 